Alright, come on, Bree. Come on, Bree Bree. Come on, baby boy. Good boy. Come on. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Walk with Regis. Today is February 10th. Today's weather will be high 30s with an 89% chance of precipitation. Let's see. I have a lot of news to cover today, so let's just jump right into it. A Buffalo man faces murder charges after him and another shot another man while he was pumping gas. The man ran off, collapsed nearby, and him and his friend ripped the gold chain from around his neck as he was dying. So, I guess it's really considered murder and robbery charges, but the article only mentioned the murder charges. I don't know, maybe that means they already got him on the robbery charges. And I went ahead and didn't mention any ages or names or anything. The article did provide them. But sometimes I feel a little uncomfortable with mentioning specifics. Even though this is a matter of public record and anybody can do a Google search and find out more information about it. Also in the news, about three Buffalo men plead guilty to drug charges and drug trafficking, drug conspiracy. Good boy. Also in the news, a Buffalo woman was hit and hit by a white SUV and killed as she was crossing the street near Bailey and Broadway Street. I remember talking a few times about the the bad way that people drive around that area, especially down Walden and Bailey. Broadway's not much farther from Walden and Bailey. They're always racing down them streets and they always say, one of these days we're going to hit someone. I kind of hope they find the driver and the person responsible. It's one thing if you accidentally hit somebody, but to flee the scene when the person needs help, you could have... You could have been the one to give them life-saving, you know, medical uh, care. You Or you could have at least been the one to call and say, Hey, I had, there was an accident. I wasn't watching where I was going and I hit somebody. Can you come help? I'll call 911. You know, be the responsible adult, something. Also in the news... Thirty-three-year-old man was shot and killed in his vehicle around Clinton Street. He drove off where he hit a pole, and I think he died at the scene. I remember reading about some of these news stories at work. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. Um, I was switching my phone from one hand to the other so I could get this poop bag and all of a sudden I heard bling! I looked down and my phone is off. Uh, and my hand is nowhere near the power button. I suppose it's going to be another one of those days for the second month in a row. Day after day after day.
now I'm having trouble getting this poop bag open. Just another day after day after day of things not going right. I think that's all of it. There we go. Alright, come on. Alright, sorry guys, apparently my fucking phone shut off, so this is going to be a two or three parter, depending on how I feel. I'm not sure what the hell is going on, why my phone is shutting off in the middle of recording, but apparently it's going to be yet another one of those days for the second month in a row. This is all I ever have, is one bad day after another. Have, have you ever experienced anything like this before? No good days, just bad days. I mean, weeks of bad days in a row just kind of grates on your nerves, erodes away at your, your positivity, and I mean, at least as far as I'm concerned, it does. My boots about to be wet all day, and I don't know how these fucking have got waterproof things on them. <sighs> Indeed, it's gonna be another one of those days. So anyway, I'm glad that the phone shut off, or the phone didn't shut off while I was trying to say something important. Alright, let's see. The last news story of the night is Bob Saget's uh, cause of death has been revealed as head trauma. Apparently, he struck his head but felt okay and didn't think anything of it and went to sleep later that night. So, head trauma, head trauma slash concussion because they say after a head injury you're supposed to stay up for 24 hours and he didn't I guess now I like to think of it as he passed away peacefully in his sleep I think I might try to download my, my one app and start reconnecting videos again because this is getting to be a pain in the butt uploading parts A and B and now C because it wanted to stop recording twice. Go. Go. Kick your butt. Come on. What do you smell? Come. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on. What are you doing? Alright guys, again I am terribly sorry about my, my entire existence has been nothing but one stroke of bad luck. I feel like ever since the day I was born I was cursed. The, the moment breath came out my mouth, I guess God decided this woman will never know a moment of rest. Her entire life will be nothing but stress and anxiety. Every time she thinks something's going all right, it will not. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, you can hit the dislike button. Share if you want to subscribe if you want to. And we will see you tomorrow.